there's been no real rain for about three months now. Everything's become dry and crispy. Basically, nothing is growing. The plants are having a really hard time at the moment. The downhill tank is empty. Main tank, empty. Reserve tank, empty. And this is the oh my god reserve tank. It's slightly over half full. And there's very little in the daily use tank. I've got nearly 18,000 litres in storage. To work out the volume of each of my tanks I had to do the calculation. Can you still remember the formula for volume of a cylinder? I'll come back to it later. The water filter is six months old so it's time to replace it. So I turn the electricity and the water off and set about changing them. Well that needed changing. These are paper cartridge filters. They're easy to change and they filter to 20 microns. After the filter was changed, Sarah noticed an increase in water pressure, so I might change the filters more frequently. The ducks have run out of drinking water as well. This barrel feeds the drinking trough. This roof and uphill barrel feeds the downhill one. This barrel lets me keep about 200 litres in reserve, and it looks like I need it. The water's running freely, and the drinking troughs are filling up again. Lulu's not been feeling very well recently, and Sarah goes up and checks on him every day. He's not been very active and he just hangs around the hotel. Sarah's keeping a special eye out for him. Oh, lovely. When the water's this low, there's only one thing to do. The gods are smiling and the rain is flowing. White tanks overflow. This project is covered in two ebooks. I've put links in the description. So we could thank Chak Mool the Mayan rain god, or Tyalok the Aztec rain god, but I like Zeus the Greek god of sky and rain. I need to pump the water back up the mountain to store it. I open the tap from the pump to the uphill tanks. Each tank has its own inlet pipe. I've arranged my pipe so I can use the house pump to pump uphill. So we're starting to fill nicely. The roof is filling the barrels. 
the tap at the bottom of this barrel is closed, so this barrel will fill and then overflow into the downhill barrel. The rain means we're not generating much solar power, so I fired up the generator to help the pumps and to boost the batteries. My device on the wall shows that we're charging nicely. The gutters under the kitchen are feeding a small green tank. When the small green tank is full, I can pump up the hill into the house tank. And here's the answer. Did you remember that volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height? Leave a comment saying whether you remembered it or where you learnt it. After three months with no rain, this really is a glorious sight. The frogs are really enjoying this. Press subscribe to follow more of our adventures and please press the like button if you enjoyed this video, it helps the channel. For more information about the ebooks, please visit my website at buildshippingcontainerhouse.com.